Today is the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. Pope Pius XII established the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker on May 1, 1955. The decision to place the feast on May 1st was in response to the Communist International Workers' Day and the pagan festivals of May Day. In the 1950s, communism was at its peak and the dignity of man was understood only in his value to the state. Pius XII noticed the need to emphasize the dignity of the laborer as a participator in the life of the Holy Family. Pius XII stated, The humble workman of Nazareth not only personifies before God and the Church the dignity of the manual laborer, but also he is always the provident guardian of you and your families. Rather than viewing man as a laborer for the state alone, Joseph the Worker reminds us that we labor for God to build virtue and strengthen family life. Jesus Christ, who was obedient to St. Joseph in the Holy Family, is referred to as the carpenter's son in Matthew's Gospel. The labor of carpentry performed by Jesus and Joseph in the presence of the Virgin Mother stands as an example of the daily work of Christians. Saint Joseph the Worker is frequently invoked for help in daily work and the eradication of communism and communist ideology.